Good morning folks, today we're in Dundee but we're not staying in Dundee, no we're off to catch a flight. Now this is one of those rare cities where you can quite easily walk from the city centre to the airport and it should only take maybe about half an hour. And what's more, this is a brand new airport for the channel so I'm quite excited about this one, let's go. This surely must be one of the most central airports of any UK city, apart from maybe the one we're actually flying to today. But I tell you what, so far, it's a really nice civilised walk along the banks of the River Tay. Over there on the other side of the river, you can see the scene for the last leg of our Fife Coastal Path Trail. I'm glad we're having a more leisurely walk today. Look at this cool story from 1938. A seaplane departed from Dundee trying to break the non-stop aeroplane flight world record that remains the longest non-stop seaplane flight and at the time had travelled faster than any other aircraft over a marathon distance, averaging 144 miles per hour. Wow, how cool is that? I think we'll be lucky to average 144 miles per hour today. I'll pop a wee picture of that plaque at the end of the video. We're just passing under the Tay Rail Bridge now, so not far to go. Now, of course, by city standards, this is an absolutely tiny airport. You'll see a lot of Cessnas and Pipers and the like doing lots of takeoffs and landings here. That's part of their PPL training. You'll also see the odd private jet of rich golfers coming into place in Andrews. But commercially, there's only one airline and three destinations. The airline is Logan Air, and the destinations are London City, Sumbra and Shetland, and where we're off to today, George Best Airport in Belfast. The terminal in Dundee is reminiscent of the wee remote airports further north in Scotland, and indeed it's run by Highlands and Islands Airports Limited. Funnily enough, their only airport not actually in the Highlands and Islands. Once you're through the rigorous security, where I guess they have more time for random checks, don't expect too much. There is a nice wee view of the single runway, but the next flight to arrive and depart is likely to be the one that you're booked on. Uh, no bags, that's Thank you. Hey, not only do we have a new airport for the channel today, but we've also got a new aircraft, the ATR-42. This 23-year-old workhorse has flown around the world with service in Germany, Norway and Brazil, before finally finding its way to Scotland and Loganair. For me, it's always a wee bit exciting to step aboard a new aircraft, so join me on board for the experience. Hi, you got your boarding card? Oh, sorry, yeah. That one is an emergency exit seat, so you will need no to pop your bag in the overhead locker. Okay, okay, thanks. Now, of course, I knew this would be an exit row seat when I booked, but I had no idea the setup would be this cool. And I'd have this entire Loganair suite all to myself. Good afternoon, everyone, and a very warm welcome on board your Loganair flight to Belfast City. If you've not joined us on this route before, a very warm welcome on board. You may be interested to know that your flight today has been documented by travel blogger Steve Marsh. So in the next couple of days, please check out Steve's profile on YouTube.com. Today, we depart to the west, climbing 14,000 feet towards Glasgow Turnbury, over the sea to approach and land on the westerly runway at Belfast City. He has the pleasure of taking us westbound, and I'll get back to you in the cruise and update you for the weather on arrival. I do recommend whenever you are seated, please keep your seatbelts fastened. So without further ado, I'll leave you in the capable hands of Danielle. Sit back, relax, enjoy the service. As we do the short taxi to runway 27, I'll cut the commentary and I'll let you enjoy the takeoff. I'll see you up there somewhere. Ladies and gentlemen, for your comfort and safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the captain has to switch off the seatbelt sign. There are 
charge if you recommend you keep your seatbelt fastened and well seated. If the moving handbag is from the overhead lockers, please take care as items may have fallen out and cause injury. For your convenience, this window is located at the rear of the cabin and may I remind you smoking due to the use of electronic cigarettes is not permitted. It's nice to see that the complimentary onboard service has returned since I last flew Logan Air and I'm always impressed how a single cabin crew member can get it all done even on the short hops. So I got my tray table out the armrest in plenty of time for a coffee and a signature Scottish caramel wafer. The weather en route today wasn't perfect for filming, which is a bit of a shame because flights at lower altitudes like today's 15,000 feet give such a unique view compared to the jets flying higher up, but we were lucky enough to break through the clouds just as we approached the coast of Northern Ireland. So now I'll shut up, I'll buckle up and I'll let you enjoy the approach and landing. Gentlemen, please take care as you disembark the aircraft and hold on to the handrail provided. Thank you. As the rest of the passengers departed, the geek in me was lucky enough to get a peek in the flight deck and annoy the poor first officer with my stupid questions. Hi, how you doing? All right. Enjoy your trip. Amazing. Good. I was just saying, very smooth. Good. And you were you were pilot flying, yeah? It certainly was. Is it quite a fun aircraft to fly? Is it? Very nice. Yes. Airbus engineering. Very nice aircraft. Plenty of space. Same sort of space as the Airbus. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. No worries. Great to meet you. Thanks so much to Captain Reed for letting me see in the flight deck there. Thank you. See you later. Tato's, there's only one place we can be.
Well, that was a fantastic wee flight across from Dundee to Belfast. Only took about 40 minutes. It was smooth, comfortable, wee bit of onboard catering as well. Great to see. And everyone was so friendly. Thanks again to Captain Reed for letting me see in the flight deck. I tell you what, that was a bonus. And now I just need to find the 600 bus into Belfast city centre. It only takes about 10 minutes, I think. And then we've got some more adventures in Northern Ireland. So look out for that video. Thanks again for watching folks and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Scream.